Good day, Christian friends. Today I would like to encourage your hearts from the book of James, chapter 5 and verse 13. And we're looking at the power of prayer. And we are to pray when we suffer. Now, suffering is a part of our everyday life. And by the time we become adults, we would have all suffered great pain of some sort. And we all have had to deal with the question as to, you know, why, why did this happen? Or how did this ever happen to me? And, you know, we struggle to find ways to make sense of our suffering so that we can make sense as to how to live the rest of our lives. This struggle can lead us to, to blame other people, you know, to even blame ourselves or to blame God for, for bringing suffering into our lives. And we become bitter and turn away from, from our faith that we have in Christ. Struggling to find answers to the why of our pains and the how of our suffering can, can lead us away from the very presence of God. That's why in verse 13, James referred to any suffering that a Christian may encounter. And this is important because God is concerned with every detail of our lives. There's no pain we have that God does not feel. Like any loving parent, when God's children suffer, he also suffers. But the good news is that God's love runs deeper than our hurt. It runs deeper than our pain. And this is why James said in verse 13, Is there any of you who are in trouble? You should pray. Prayer is our direct link to the very person, the very nature of God. Not just simply a God who might answer our prayer but the person of God who empathizes with our pain, who empathizes with our struggle and walks with us, as the psalmist David says, through the valley of the shadow of death. Through those dark moments, he is with us. When we pray, God doesn't just simply give us advice or just rescues us from that difficult situation. He grants us his very presence so that we can sense his reality, even in the darkest of times. James told us to pray when we suffer because the answer to suffering is not the explanation as to why that suffering occurred, but comfort in time of sorrow. Listen, if we're cold, we're not going to call the weather weatherman to explain the weather patterns as to why it's cold. No, we need a blanket. In the same way, if we're hungry, we're not going to call on our doctor to, to, you know, to analyze the, the, you know, the cause of our hunger pains. No. We'll seek food. When we suffer, we don't need to know the why. But simply this. We need to know and embrace the very presence of God. So let us remember, when we suffer, there is power in prayer. May God bless you.